What is up, everybody? Thank y'all for finding your way back to the channel. I hope the days are getting shorter and the, and the weather's cooling off a little bit wherever you are. Um, we're, we're starting to get into fall over here in East Central Alabama. <clears throat> and today we're trying to get the last bit of third cutting on the ground. We've got to go get the tractor, mower, go cut down a couple acres. And then we are going to, um, I think the plan is we're going to move some round pins around. And then I think we're going to try to pull some bulls. So it's going to be a long day for a Saturday, but y'all hang out with us and see where it goes. So I want to take a second and explain what, what this next clip is all about. Uh, I'm trying to get the, the cutter and the tractor loaded up. And as you can tell, this the cutter's getting hung on the ramps. Um, it's getting caught on the skirt right there. But what I'm really worried about is on that, where that ramp is on the right side of the screen. The bar that I've got my hand on right there is the drive shaft that spins of the hats on the cutter bar. And I'm worried about the ramp uh, bending that drive shaft. So right there, what I just did is I tried to back up and, and push the ramps backwards to get them to come down. But because of the way the truck's sitting, I, I can't get the uh, I can't back up to put the ramps down. So what I end up doing, <clears throat> I end up trying to uh, push the ramps down into the dirt a little bit more. And right here, I get off and I put the truck in low gear instead of reverse. Uh, when you're in reverse, it lets it roll forward a little bit more um, compared to if you was in low gear or first, uh, the truck won't roll as, as bad. So once I, once I put it in that lower gear, the ramps still come up, but they're not, they're not nearly as bad. And I'm able, to, uh, I'm able to pull up on the trailer and get loaded. Well, that was interesting enough. God, I hate doing that. You see how soft this ground is. We had some uh, had some rain that went through uh, went through here the other day. It was the rain from the um, from the hurricane that went through Texas, or come up through Texas and hung a hard right and come down the coastline. We got a little bit of it, but. Uh, I cannot stand loading this tractor and mower. Uh, yes, I'm gonna chain it down, but you can see, I hope you can see in the video where the truck kept rolling, causing them ramps to come up. So when them ramps come up, when the ramps come up, they hit the uh, they hit the back of the mower, and I'm hoping. So, God Almighty! Left a crater. There goes my stand. Left a crater. That one was already broke, but it didn't help none. And then that one. I need a new trailer for what I need. Ooh. Yeah, I need me a new trailer is what I need. 
But uh, what ends up happening is when this, when this ramp kicks up like this, it hits right here on this drive shaft and up underneath here. I'm really hoping I didn't bend that shaft because <clears throat> when I come back here and checked on it, it was resting on this, uh, on this ramp. But anyway, let me get this thing chained down and bucked down and uh, I'll catch up with y'all when I get unloaded. Something I did just notice though, where I welded that back together, holding strong. Well, this day just went downhill. <clears throat> I have, it appears that I have broken a belt on the Kubota. I don't know if y'all can see. That is supposed to be attached. I don't know why it broke all of a sudden. But it did. All right, so, got our belt, but the only issue is now we've got to, uh, now we got to go move some pins around, and then we are, then we are going to catch some cows, and we're going to pull our bull and stick him off and uh, put him in a different pasture. I'll explain more about that later. Right now I gotta get these pins moved. All right, so a quick wardrobe change later for me and my truck. Seems like all I ever do is hook and unhook the trailers. But anyway, the uh, I told y'all I got my belt. I told you we was going to move in pins around. Y'all just seen that. <clears throat> I just hooked up to the stock trailer. The game plan is we're going to take the bull out of this pasture and stick him behind mine and my wife's house in our pasture and the reason we're doing that is right now we don't have a set breeding season uh, i'm gonna go in depth in that in a little bit but we're trying to get it set up to where we have a set breeding season right now the bull lives with the cows year round we have calves year round and we want to get to a set breeding cycle so today is going to be <laughs> today is going to be day one of honestly about a two or three year plan but um we're gonna pull them out now it's gotten warm i don't like doing it in the middle of the day when it's warm like this but circumstances being what they are maybe he'll come up if he don't i'll unhook him and try them i just won't do it for today but anyway that's the game plan i'm headed to the cow pen to the catch pen back here to try to catch the bull and take him across the road Hey, hey.
Hey. Yep. 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 Hey. Come on. Hey, get up. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. Hey, hey. Hey. Get up. So I have caught these three. The two yellow tags are going to a different pasture. The red and orange tag is gonna stay here with the bull. The game plan is that, the game plan is I'm gonna open the trailer and let the bull in here with them. Uh, and then not give him time to do anything with the two yellow tags before they go on the trailer. I don't know exactly how well this is gonna work, but it's, it's about the best option I got right now. So let's just see what happens, shall we? All right, so as this is going on, I'm gonna kind of explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, <clears throat> so I just loaded the bull on the trailer and I, I got over to the pasture where we're gonna keep him uh, until we're ready to put him back out for breeding season again. Um, I really wanted to touch real quick on why we're doing this. The, the biggest thing we're trying to do is have a set breeding cycle or a set breeding season so that we can tell, we can get a better idea of who's having calves on time when they're supposed to and who's, who's not. Um, there's some pros and cons to it, like right now. Right now we get a little bit of a check from selling cows throughout the year. Uh, the way we're trying to do it, we'll get one big check instead. So um, anyway, what I'm trying to do right here is I'm trying to load the two yellow tag calves, but instead the bull and the older cow that's in here keep blocking the trailer. So the bull and the older cow just got on the trailer. And so what I decided to do was just go on and close them up pull the truck up and let them out in the big pasture and get them out of the way. Once they're out of the way, I can get everything set back up and then I can uh, I can load the two calves by themselves without, without worrying about the bull and the older cow getting in the way anymore. All right, so once the, the bull and the older cow are out of the way, I can start working on these calves. And what I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just trying to let them go on the trailer at their pace. Uh, the first one went on right there, she went on pretty easy. Uh, she wasn't, she didn't, she didn't think about it a whole lot, but this second one here, she she wants to think about it a little bit more. Um, like I said, the, the biggest thing with working calves is you gotta make it their idea. Um, as long as you don't try to push them and, and run them up on the trailer, it usually goes a lot easier uh, when, you, when you just let them do it and let them figure it out. 